Welcome to Value Edition. How's everybody doing? I trust everybody's doing great. So today we're looking at the five things to consider before setting up your e-commerce business. Let's get into it. So the history of e-commerce began a little over 40 years ago or four decades ago, however you want to put it, family. And you know, it started with the introduction of early technologies like electronic data interchange, also known as EDI in the 1970s. And it really started taking shape when teleshopping was created, you know, that really got into modern day e-commerce as we know it. So the benefits of this tutorial is that you're going to learn about how you can have a lasting company. You're also going to have a clear vision and a better mission for your e-commerce company or business or store. And you're also going to be able to have a successful e-commerce launch. So firstly, um, I believe there's a whole lot of opportunities for e-commerce. You know, e-commerce is booming. It's really booming. If you check out the statistics, e-commerce is booming. And I don't see the reason why a lot of people give up when they start their e-commerce business. You know, it shouldn't be so. Usually with anything good, sometimes it can take a bit of challenges. And when you're doing something and it, it kind of like, it takes a nose dive. You don't have to. You don't have to quit. It's just a challenge to keep you going stronger and stronger. So you know, e-commerce is a great industry that I believe. You know, you should. I would. I would recommend. I would highly recommend for people to delve into. So let's check out this statistic that shows how much e-commerce is booming. And also look into. A bit of private labeling. It's a good idea to start private labeling when you're into e-commerce. As of 2022, you know, like huge numbers of retailers are shifting to e-commerce because it's a trillion dollar industry, you know, which is, which is really, really expanding by the day. You know, Shipotelli, for example, you know, is investing its, you know, it's investing in its online business and platforms. Always remember, customers will be more than creators. So having a store is a great idea, you know, and try and take advantage of this booming industry because it's really going to go a long way to help. Second point is marketing is king. Marketing is so important due to visibility. Marketing makes it easier for your e-commerce business or store for real to to be to be seen and patronized. You know, you can have a, like a great product and all that, but without great marketing, it's likely to fail. And you know, marketing is is more important, it's slightly more important, I beg your pardon. It's slightly more important than your product because a bad product can sell really well with effective marketing, but it's going to be difficult for a very great product like yours or a potential great product product like yours to make it if the marketing is very little, you know? So in e-commerce, it's very important that you focus so much on your, on your marketing, you know, try and make your marketing as visible as possible so that you can increase sales. Thirdly, um, always ensure that you have specific customers. Don't think, oh, you, you started e-commerce, so you want to sell everything. If you sell everything, it's very likely it's not going to sell that much. So please and please try and be specific, you know, try and sell specific products instead of selling general products. You know, you can sell, you can sell like, um, sneakers as opposed to selling clothes selling belts selling hats selling all kinds of fashion accessories you know so you can specify and sell one or two which 
is going to go a long way to help. You know, because the moment you, 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 you sell too many products, you spread yourself too thin and it makes it a bit difficult to, you know, get your customers. And truthfully speaking, you can't market to everybody. It's going to be quite difficult. So it's always good to target a specific audience that you want to, or a specific clientele that you want to meet. And then fourthly, your pre-launch is more important than you think. You know, without a very strategic pre-launch strategy, yeah, strategic strategy, I know, right? So without a solid plan for your pre-launch, it's going to be quite difficult to get people to buy on the very first day. You know, no lies about it. With, you know, with, with our channel, we make sure to tell you the truth all the time. Sincerely speaking, it's always good to have a very solid pre-launch, you know, let people know way before you even start creating the product, make, have a buzz about it and try and have a personal branding. You get what I mean? Try having a personal branding going. That's going to like, it's going to support because, because with that, you're going to be having um, a following that's already loving and liking everything you, you're doing. So if you have a good following or a huge following, it's going to go a long way to help. So which, whichever product you bring out, it's very likely to sell. So before you have your e-commerce store, try to have a decent following on social media. So number five, try to differentiate yourself from other products and other stores. You know, try, try to stand out. Because at the end of the day, you are unique. There are so many people in this world and you are unique. So let your personality, let your uniqueness show in your product and you're going to do great. You're going to do great. So these are the five things that taking note are going to take your e-commerce business very far. So let's quickly recap. So number one is that E-commerce opportunities are numerous. Never give up on your e-commerce. Number two, marketing is boss. Always market, market, market. Number three, your customers shouldn't be everyone. Be specific with your customers so you can make as much sales as possible as soon as possible. Number four, your pre-launch is very important. Try and build a huge following before you start your e-commerce so it's going to be easy to sell. And then last but not least, number five, try to be unique with your e-commerce. So with these five tips, trust me, you are going to do great. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. All the best. Peace out.